Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you uh, for dialing up. God continue to empower you. God enrich you. The Lord give you your heart desires in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate God for today. Let's continue to appreciate God for today. Let's appreciate God for today. Let's continue to appreciate God for today in the name of Jesus. Let's just say, Father, I appreciate you for today. I thank you for today. I appreciate you. I appreciate God. It is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the spirit of God. So open your mouth and appreciate him for today. Let's appreciate our Lord. Father in the Lord, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. Let's open our mouth and just say, Father, thank you for your man servant, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and our mother in the Lord, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. Open your mouth and just thank God for their lives. As you are thanking God for them, God, thank God for your life as well. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What Good you do Lord. to for people, you're actually doing it for yourself. A lot of people don't know that. That's why the Bible says every pit digger falls into their own pit. The same way every blessing giver gets the same blessing. Hallelujah. So don't um, hold blessings back. Don't hold prayers back. Uh, open your mouth and just bless God for their lives. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Open your mouth and bless. Now open your mouth and ask God to bless you and your household. Say, Lord, bless me and my household in this month of um, September. Open your mouth and ask God to bless you and your household. Say, Lord, bless us. Bless us, my household. Bless me and my household in this month of September in the mighty name of Jesus. And now open your mouth and ask God to Bless myself and my household. I say, Lord, open your mouth and release some blessings upon us. It's not easy to uh, be a man or woman of God. Hallelujah. It's just not easy. But the Lord gives us grace to continue. Praise mm -hmm. Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to pray before we um, hear today's sermon. We're going to pray according to Psalm 19, verse 1. Psalm 19, verse 1. Yeah. Psalm 19, verse 1. Psalm 19, verse 1. It says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. When God declares your glory... When God declares your blessings, when God declares your prosperity, until the firmament showeth it forth, until it manifests physically, no one can see it. Hallelujah. No one can see it. And Bible says that from the first day Daniel prayed, God answered his prayer. So the heavens declared Daniel's prayers as answered, but the firmament could not show it forth because there was a prince of Persia holding on to his answered prayer. You are going to pray. In these nine months, you are going to tell God that, oh, God of heaven, as you declare your glory over my life, let the firmament show it forth. Oh God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, as you declare my glory, as you declare my blessings in this month of September, in this nine months, let the firmament show it forth. Let the firmament show it forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father in the name of Jesus, name of as you declare my blessings, as you declare your glory over my life in this nine months, 
of the year let the firmament show it forth um, let the firmament show it for let me see tangibility of my blessings open your mouth let me see tangibility let me hold my blessings let me feel it open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of jesus Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in this nine months of, uh, of the year 2024, as you declare my blessings, uh, as you answer my prayers, uh, O oh God of heaven, let the firmament show it forth. Let the earth show it forth. Let it be tangible. Let it be holdable. Let it be feelable. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makata la kata la bata la kata la bata la kata la bata ile kete le kete le bete ika to 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 ya gaza la kata le kete le kete le kete le bete ye kaso ta 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 ine kete le kete le kete le kete le kete le bako ize kete le kete abon ta ya bata in Jesus name Amen. It is important that you see your blessings hallelujah you are going to speak Amen. to the earth wherever you are standing that earth oh earth in the name of jesus in this nine month of the year show forth uh, my blessings let my blessings show forth uh, let my blessings show forth uh, tangibly or oh, use that word tangibly and speak to the earth uh, in the mighty name of jesus Eth, oh, eth, I speak to you in this nine month uh, that as my blessings show forth from the heavens, uh, let me see them. Let me see them. Show forth my blessings. Speak to the eth. That earth, O oh earth, in this new month of September, in the name of Jesus, um, as the heavens declares my glory, earth, I speak to you. I want to see it. I want to see them. I speak to you. We speak to you right now. Show forth our glory. Show forth the handiwork of God in our lives and destiny, in our children's life, in ministry. In Jesus' mighty name. It is settled. Hallelujah. Amen. It is settled. Amen. Praise the Lord. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Bible says Jabez saw himself as an honorable man, but he didn't live an honorable life. That is why it's important for the firmament, for the earth, to show for the handiwork of God over your life. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that in this month of September, the Amen. firmament will show forth the handiwork of God in your life. The Amen. firmament will show forth the handiwork of God in your life. Amen. The earth will bring forth the handiwork of God in your life. Amen. No matter what your enemy says, what matters is what God has said concerning you in the name of Jesus, and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Now Amen. bring your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse 18 to 21. Matthew chapter 14, verse 18 to 21. If you are there, say Amen. Let's see your Bibles. Let us see your Bibles. I can see. 
if you don't have the Bible, your Bible, you're not well dressed. So you better, okay? All right. God bless you. Um, and everyone holding your Bible, God increase you as well. God bless you. Amen. Can you hear me? Amen. Yes. Is it echoing? No. Okay. God bless. Now, bring your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 18 to 21. All right. For the purpose of explaining it, or for, for the purpose of understanding the scripture, let's start from uh, verse 13. Hallelujah. Verse 13. I read, it says, when Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the, from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed the sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave tongues and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Hallelujah. 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. Our sermon today is entitled, Your Season of Surplus. Your Season of Surplus. Amen. Hallelujah. Your Season of Surplus. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. It says there is time and season for everything. A time and season for every activity under the heavens. This season, in this new month, God sent me to tell somebody that this is your season of surplus. The ninth month of this year is your season of surplus. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. A lot of people have been struggling just to get by, moving from paycheck to paycheck. Sometimes you have to pick between which bills to pay and which bills to hold on to. Sometimes you even have to call the creditors or your credit card or whoever that, hey, give me extra time. And sometimes you are able to just get by to pay all your bills, but nothing left. God sent me to tell you that you are entering into a new season where you're going to have surplus. You are going to have overflow. You are going to have extra of everything that you wish for in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even the rich these days who says they are rich, if you go behind closed doors, 
In fact, they are sweating in their armpits, except that people think that they are rich. Today, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, God says the season, that season is over. There is a new season of surplus coming to you. A new exactly. season of surplus of blessings approaching in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 11, it says, And the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity. Therefore, through the fruitfulness of your body, you will prosper. Hallelujah. It says, The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb. Another translation says, in the fruit of your body, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground, in the land he swore to you, your ancestors to give. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, may the Lord grant you abundant prosperity. Amen. May the Lord make you have surplus of prosperity. Amen. prosperity of the fruit of your womb Amen. the fruit of your womb is your seed may the, the lord make your seed have abundant pro, surplus prosperity in the name of jesus Amen. the young of your livestock is your investment is whatever you have is is your business your finances this year this season May the Lord grace your business with surplus. I say, if your business has been struggling, henceforth, you will have surplus. Amen. You will have surplus. Amen. You will have surplus in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it says, and the crops of your ground, whatever you are laboring for, whatever you are working for, henceforth, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name may the lord grant you surplus 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 amen. surplus in the crop of your ground in the mighty name of jesus amen the bible says and the lord will make you have a surplus of prosperity the lord will make you have a surplus of prosperity open your palm in the name of jesus I pray for you this day that may the Lord make you, make you have a surplus of prosperity, make you have a surplus of whatever your heart desire. You mm -hmm. will not move from paycheck to paycheck again. Mm -hmm. You will not, you will not borrow again. You will move from prosperity to prosperity. You will lend to people and not be a borrower. Henceforth, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus, that abundant grace is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I say that abundant grace is coming upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Open your palm. And the Lord will grant you abundant grace. I pray for you that the Lord should grant you, uh, grant you abundant grace in your finances, abundant grace in your ministry, abundant grace in your business, surplus in everything you do in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, this scripture says, and I will make you fishers of men. When God decides to make something, nothing can be compared to it. Peter toiled all night and could not catch nothing. Peter was a broke fisherman. Peter was not living in abundance. He was living in scarcity and frustration. Praise the Lord. But when Jesus met them, Jesus said, come, follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. And he did. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, 
that henceforth the Lord will make you fishers of men. Even in your ministry, the grace to fish men fall upon you. In your business, the grace to fish men fall upon you. In all that you do with regards to men, receive that abundant grace, that surplus grace, that overflow, that excess grace to fish men in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23, it says, I will make you know my word. I want you to understand that when God says this season is a season of surplus, God is able to do it. Praise the Lord. He says, I will make known to you my words, my teachings. And it, it's, it's there. The teachings of God is available. It is not hidden. It is our mind that we have to change. After God has spoken, it's up to us to take the word of God and run with it. Most of us just leave it right there. And then we'll be walking in the same grace. I break you off that spirit of uh, laziness that you don't follow the word of God but Amen. follow your mind. It will not be your portion again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It says, and I will make known to you my teachings. When the Lord makes known to you his teachings, that's it. That's all you need. If the ordinary teacher in the classroom can make you, can stir you up to get your degrees, to get what you are looking for, in the physical realm, how much more God? I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that just as God has said, this is your season of surplus, so Amen. shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. The, God, the Lord is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can think of. So what God has Amen. said is what will happen to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Open your palm. I want to prophesy. In this ninth month, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice that just as the Lord has said, he will make you prosper in uh, 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 surplusly. May, may you prosper and have surplus. I say, may you prosper and have surplus. Amen. Prosper academically and have surplus. Prosper ministerially and have surplus. Prosper in anything you find to do and have surplus in the mighty name of Jesus. In Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19, it says, The Lord will make your feet like a hand's feet and make you walk in high places. In this nine month, in the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven, the scripture over someone listening to me, according to Habakkuk 3, 19, that may the Lord make your feet like a hind's feet. Hallelujah. And enable you to tread on high places where the enemy says you will never reach. This year, this month, this season, you will get there. This season, you will get there. 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 You don't serve a dead God. You said a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, Amen. no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God Amen. is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. Surpluses is on your side. Amen. Prosperity is on your side. Blessings is on your side. Shout fire. <clears throat> Shout fire. 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 Shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. God sent me this day to tell somebody that is your season of surplus. It's your season of new 
heights, new harvest. <clears throat> new is a season of a new face. Let's put it that way. Is uh, your season of a new face? Or uh, put it, or uh, is your next level? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, what say? I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> In Matthew chapter fourteen, where we read, <clears throat> Bible says, after Herod Antipas killed uh, John the Baptist. Jesus withdrew from the crowd. He withdrew from the people. He was so shocked. They didn't know what to do. So Bible says he withdrew from the crowd and went to, to a remote place. And the people started looking for him. Why? Jesus hates injustice. So what? Harold Antipas did just he it just muted him. Did he know what to do? <clears throat> there are times that injustice can make people go to remote place. That's fine. Jesus did it. It's okay for you to do it. But whilst there, you have to seek God. I don't know whose message is this. Maybe something is happening and you don't know what to do. Just look for Jesus. Jesus himself, Bible says he withdrew from that wickedness, that injustice, and went to a remote place. Whilst he was there, the crowd heard about what Herod had done to John the Baptist, and they started looking for Jesus. Beloved, if you don't know Jesus, find Jesus. The crowd did not look for Jesus before Herod killed um, John the Baptist. They started looking for Jesus after the wickedness. Please find Jesus before wickedness comes to your door. Amen. Hallelujah. Find Jesus. Don't wait till last minute. Find him before wickedness comes to your door. Because even with Jesus, you can ask those that know the Lord. It's not easy. There's so much trials. There's so much tribulations. So much, so much going on just because you're a child of God. So not knowing him, I, I don't know how that looks like right now. I wish I can tell you, but I'm sure it's going to be a, a lot of problems or more than who, uh, the righteous. Praise the Lord. And so if you don't know Jesus, start looking for him because wickedness is everywhere. So Bible says they located Jesus in a remote place. A whole lot of people came to him. When Jesus saw them, he started healing them. He started healing them. Most times, and I, I know that that healing is not sicknesses alone. It's a lot of other problems that they brought to him. But the most important part was, Bible says that it was getting dark. Praise the Lord. And so the disciples went to Jesus <clears throat> and said, Hey, Papa, it's getting dark. Next uh, verse, it's getting dark. <clears throat> Why don't we send these people away? Because we don't even have food to give to them. And Bible says, Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. Unknowing to you, there are people that are fighting very hard behind the scene that your helpers, that your Jesus, that your Messiah, your people, the people God has put in your life, they are fighting hard that those people will send you away, that those people will stop helping you, that whoever God has laid your problem in their heart to help you. It could be your boss at work. It could be your uncle. It could be anyone around you. There are people working 24 hours to change the status quo of where God has sent you to. These people looked for Jesus and found him. But now the disciples went to Jesus and said, send them away. The good thing about knowing Jesus is Jesus said, send them where? Where to send them to? There's no place to send them to. I prophesy 
over someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that you will not lose your place of salvation. After now, in the name of Jesus, Amen. you will not lose your place of salvation. You will hold on to the anchors of Christ. After Amen. now, in the mighty name of Jesus, no Amen. demon from hell, no problem, no, 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 no trial will change your place from the Lord. These disciples wanted uh, this multitude sent away because there was no food. What a minute problem. What a trivial problem. Thank God for Jesus. And this is very important for leadership. When you are in leadership or you're a visionaire, it is important. People around you make suggestions, but because the vision is in your hands, it's up to you to make the final decision. Jesus made the final decision and said, no, they're not going nowhere. In fact, find them a place to sit. Praise the Lord. And lo and behold, to the disciples, it was just impossible to feed the multitudes. Amen. But Bible says there is nothing impossible for God. And this goes to someone who is a child of God. There is nothing impossible for God. It doesn't matter what you are seeing. Bible says it was 5,000 men with their wives and children. So it's more than 5,000 people Jesus fed. If 5,000 men, everyone has a wife, that's five plus, 5,000 plus five, that's 10K. If all of them have one, one kids, that's what, 15,000. So if they have more than one kid, that's more than that. Jesus fed all of them. In the eyes of the disciples, this was impossible. Not with Jesus. Not with the Lord. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, according to Mark chapter 9, verse 23, it says, with man is impossible, but not with the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, it says, it's impossible with men, but not with God. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 1, verse 37 it says all things are possible with God. Luke chapter 18, verse 27. Everything is possible with God. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice who has given their life to Jesus, who is depending on Christ, that everything is possible with God if only you believe. Matthew 17, 20. Everything you are believing God for is possible. Do not let anything drive you away from Jesus. Don't, no trials, no tribulation. What is it? Don't let it take you away from the Lord. To the disciples, food, just food that they will eat and then kaput, it will, it will come out later, was enough to take this multitude from the Lord of Lords, from the King of Kings, from the Alpha and Omega. There are things that is going on in your life right now. Nothing going on now is enough for you not to stay with the Lord. Nothing. If you have fallen out of faith, then you never knew God to begin with. I pray for you. The grace to stay with the Lord fall upon you. The grace Amen. to stay with Jesus Amen. fall upon you. The grace to know the Lord fall upon you in the Amen. name of Jesus. It gets better, beloved. Bible says, Jesus said, they're not going nowhere. Let them sit down. So Jesus kept them. Jesus kept them. The disciples wanted these people sent away. The Lord kept them. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, I pray for you this day, this moment, that Jesus keep you. I say, Jesus, keep you. The Amen. power of the Lord, keep your household. Amen. The power of the Lord, keep your loved ones. Amen. The Lord, keep all that he has put in your hands. The Lord, keep your giftings. The Lord, Amen. keep your assignments. The Amen. Lord, keep your finances. The Amen. Lord, keep everything Jesus. that he has placed in your hands. This multitude came with everything. 
They came the way they, they, they are wired. Just as you are wired, that's how they came. So whatever God has instilled in you, that's how you are with him. The Lord keep all of you. You will not lose anything after now. You will not lose your children. You Amen. will not lose your loved ones. Amen. You will not lose your brain. You will Amen. not lose your ministry. You will not lose your business. You Amen. will not lose your marriage. Amen. You will not lose your household. Amen. You will not lose anything that is with the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, the name above every other name, most importantly, you will not lose your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So they stayed with Jesus. And lo and behold, that scripture that says that you should cast your burdens on the Lord. It happened there. Come to me, all ye that are heavily laden. I think Matthew 11. And I will give you rest. In fact, when Jesus said they are not going nowhere, there was really nothing. Hallelujah. So physically, the disciples were logically right. But not supernaturally 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 correct hallelujah they were in supernaturally correct if you want to walk on this earth logically you will make mistakes hallelujah i pray for you will not make mistakes after now if you want to use your logic you will make mistakes especially if you are a child of god if you are not a child of god that's fine that you are living by your own intelligence, by your own logic, period. If it goes well, it's for you. If it goes wrong, it's for you. But if you, this Lord, is your Lord and Master Savior, hallelujah, and you are walking Amen. by the precepts of God, if you, are, if you walk by logic, you make mistakes. Amen. Hallelujah. And Amen. so, logically... They yeah. didn't even have food because they had not discovered the five loaves and two fishes yet. So now Jesus asked them, is there anything to feed them? Before one little child said, ah, I have five loaves of uh, bread and two fish. Even then, it didn't look right. We have five thousand multitudes with wives and children what are you talking about five loaves of bread and two fish how how is that possible it's possible with god what is the problem is it your academics is possible with god is it your marriage is possible with jesus Amen. is it your finances is possible with jesus is it your business is possible with jesus what is it your health is possible with Jesus. Your project is possible with Jesus. Amen. Whatever the situation is, is it a, a fruit of the womb? Is possible, is possible, is possible, is possible with Jesus. Is possible with Jesus. Everything is possible with Jesus. Everything you are thinking about, beloved, is possible with Jesus. Amen. When the five loaves of bread and the two fish was in their hands, physically, it was five loaves and two fish. But when they, Jesus said, bring it, bring them they it or whatever, they gave it to Jesus, it multiplied. It's very important for whatever you have in your life, to give it to Jesus, whether it's your talent, whether it's your finances, whether it's your time, whether it's ministry, whatever it is, beloved, I beg you in the name of Jesus, give those things to Jesus and Amen. see how it goes. Amen. A lot of us, it's not that we are stingy, it's Amen. ignorance and logic. Logic, and once you become a child of God, forget about logic. That's why you see that most times, <laughs> women and men of God, sometimes they behave like this person, is this person correct? Because they are, they are 
believing on supernatural results. Hallelujah. They are waiting on God for a miracle. As soon as they gave Jesus that five loaves, two fish, Jesus, Bible says he gave thanks for the five loaves and two fishes and gave it to them to share it to the multitude. That five and two fed the whole multitude. Bible says they ate and 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 they were walking like this. You know how you can eat and then now you go to God and you say, Father, I'm sorry, forgive me. You can't breathe. That's how they ate it. Has it happened to you before? Amen. When we were young, we used to do that and then we would start laughing. We would eat and eat. And, in fact, they forced us to eat. Eat and eat and eat and you can't breathe. And then uh, my father, when he's eating, he wants us all to eat with him. So even if you don't like the food, you swallow it by force. You'll be swall <laughs> eating what you don't like. And then when you finish, you can't breathe. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> this multitude could not breathe after eating. But beloved, to your surprise, that five and two, they had 12 baskets of surpluses. 12 baskets of surpluses. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice and anyone that will listen to this message later, this season, this nine months, not by me, but by the Lord, you are receiving surpluses. The grace of surpluses is coming to you. Surpluses Amen. in your finances, Amen. surpluses in your ministry, Amen. surpluses in your business, Amen. surplus. Whatever you find to do, you receive surplus. Moving from paycheck to paycheck is over. Paycheck Amen. to paycheck is over. Amen. Paycheck to paycheck is over. Amen. Counting your fingernails to pay bills or counting Amen. your fingernails in whatever you've been doing, the law says it's over. It's Amen. over. It's Amen. over. It's Amen. over. It's Amen. over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says it's over, it's over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They ate and had surpluses. Do not walk by logic. Hallelujah. That surplus, five baskets, uh, 12 baskets of surpluses. What can't the Lord do for you? I say, what can not him do for you? He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can think of. In the name of Jesus, the name above Amen. every other name. Amen. In this new month of September, I pray for you, everything you find to do, prosper. Even your brain, your thoughts, prosper. Everything your hand touches, prosper. And you have surpluses. You will have surpluses. I say you will have surpluses. You will have surpluses. You will have surpluses. Surpluses. You will have surpluses. You will have surpluses. You will have surpluses in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalm 23, verse 5 to 6, David said, He anointed my head with oil and my cup. He says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup run over. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice. In this new month, the Lord anoints your head with oil. Elohim anoints your head with oil. King of kings anoints your head with fresh oil. Fresh oil. The Lord anoints you right now as you hear the sound of my voice. Uh, receive supernatural anointing of fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh fire, fresh power, fresh, fresh, 
fresh. And he said, and my cup overflows. That's surplus there. That's the anointing for surplus. Receive the anointing for surplus. Receive the anointing for overflow. Receive the grace for excess. The Lord anoint you with oil and let your cup overflow. In this nine months of September, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Oh, Amen. receive that grace right now. Say, my father, my father, in the mighty oh, name of Jesus, I Amen. shall stand in your presence. Anoint my head with oil and let my cup overflow. Anoint my head with oil and let my cup overflow. In this month of September, oh God of heaven, you have my permission in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, anoint my head with fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh, fresh power in the name of Jesus and let my cup overflow. Let my cup overflow. Let me have surpluses in every area of my life. Surpluses all around over overflow or run overflow not only in finance in every way overflow of men overflow of women overflow overflow of overflow opinion oh god anoint my head with fresh oil fresh oil anoint my hands with fresh oil anoint my feet with fresh oil and let my cup overflow in the season of surplus i receive the grace i receive the grace of surpluses in Jesus mighty name it is settled amen, amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 11 Deuteronomy 28 verse 11 hallelujah please open your palm no give me another translation that says uh, abundant uh, uh, surplus prosperity Hallelujah. It says the Lord will grant you surplus prosperity. Open your palm in the mighty name of Jesus. It says the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity. Hallelujah. Through the fruit of your body. In the name of Jesus, open your palm. I prophesy from this altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. From this word of God in Deuteronomy 28 verse 11, we say that the Lord will grant you, the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity. In this nine months, uh, may the Lord make you have a surplus of prosperity. I said, the Lord make you have a surplus of prosperity. Amen. The Lord prosper the fruits of your womb. Amen. The Lord prosper the young of your livestock. Uh, the Amen. Lord prosper the crops of your your ground, which is your labor, the Lord prosper your household, uh, the Lord uh, prosper Amen. everything you find to do in this month of September in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. According to Deuteronomy 28 verse 11, say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh God of heaven, <clears throat> grant me surpluses in my life. All no, grant me all round prosperity. All round. All round prosperity in my life and destiny. All round prosperity. Ask God. All round prosperity surplus prosperity all around you don't want to prosper in one area and lack in another area all around surpluses in prosperity all around surplus prosperity father grant me all around surplus prosperity all around surplus blessings in every area of my life in the mighty name of jesus thou that knoweth me when i was a blood clot in my father's womb in my mother's womb i ask oh lord that i 
Yakatan, Sekete, Ali Kataya Bakunda Yakatanda, Ilegezon Diabata, or run surpluses, or run abundant grace, or run abundant prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, prosper the fruit of my womb, prosper the young of my livestock, prosper the crops of my ground. Oh, Makalagada, Lagada, 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 Ilegezon Tayakata, in this September, in this nine months, Likezon Tayabata, Ilegezan Tayabata, Yagada, Lagada, Lagazi, Legetelebete, Ilegezon Tayabata, Ilegezin Tayabata, Ilegezan Tayabata, Yagada, Lagade, Legete, 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 Open your mouth and ask for all round prosperity. This week should be that should be your prayer every time you wake up in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, visit me and give me all round prosperity. Visit me. Visit me. Visit us. Visit us. Us and give us all around prosperity in the name of Jesus. Visit my household, visit my loved ones, anyone that deserves this prayer. My father, my God, visit them and give them all around prosperity in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, whoever they are. Oh, God of heaven. Visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them and give them all around prosperity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 10. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 10. Amen. It says you will have surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old one. Hallelujah. Ah, the old grain to make room for the new. You will have surplus of crops that you will need to clear out the old one that will make room for the new. In the name of Jesus, open your palm. I prophesy, connecting to the grace of Paul, my father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, that this month of September, you will clear out anything that is not yielding fruits in your life. The Lord take them out of your life and make room for new opportunities, mm -hmm. new opportunities, new opportunities. The Lord clear out anything that is not working, anything that is not working in your life. In this month of September, the Lord cleared them out and make room for you for new opportunities, new people, new prospects, new businesses, new ideas, new miracles, new, 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 new. Receive that grace. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that. Receive it. Receive it is the word of God. Leviticus 26 chapter verse 10 so shall it be in the name of jesus amen i'm going to pray say my father my father in the name of jesus in the name of you jesus. have my permission you have my permission oh god of heaven oh god of clear heaven. out clear anything out anything in my life anything in my life that is not fruitful that, that is, is not, not glorifying your name. Lord, Lord, clear them, deliver me from them and make room for new ideas, make room for new prospects, new jobs, promotion, open your mouth. My father, my God, anything that is not working in my life, I receive grace to clear them out. I receive grace 
days uh, to resist them, uh, to reject them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I receive that grace right now. And I ask, oh Lord, that as you're clearing them out, uh, let the room, new room, be filled with new opportunities. Let my life be filled with new opportunities, uh, new prospects, new people. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace for restoration according to the scripture. Leviticus 26, verse 10. It says, and you will I will have surplus of crops that I will need to clear out. Ah. The old grain and make room for the new grain. Oh God, I activate the scripture over my life and over anyone that deserves it. Uh, that Lord, the grace for surpluses fall upon us uh, and let us be able to clear out uh, any old thing in our lives, uh, anything that is not of you, that is not working, uh, any impediment, uh, any obstacles, uh, any kind of limitations uh, in our life and destiny that will not make room for the new one father clear them out clear them out we clear them out we clear them out in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit anything in the form of evil altars uh, that will not make room for my new opportunities uh, oh god of heaven right now by the blood of jesus we silence those altars we silence them we silence them we silence them in the name of Jesus. Anything in the form of evil foundation, oh Lord God of heaven, clear them out. Clear them out by the blood of Jesus. We clear out evil foundations in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus and we make room for new foundation, for new opportunities, for new prosperity, for new blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything in the form of evil people, men and women or beasts uh, in our lives my father my god uh, you have my permission uh, lord let them be clear take them out take them out take them out take them out out of our lives this day this moment uh, and bring those that you are predestined to be in our lives bring them in in the name of jesus let them be a blessing to us and let us be a blessing to them in the mighty name of jesus Ta 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 ta, I ka ta to ko to. Ah, ninety four surplus in every area of my life. Uh, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Li ko zo de ge de ge de ge de. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says, I should prophesy. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice. That as the Lord has done clearing house, has cleared your house, has cleared your life, the Lord, I prophesy that the Lord make room for you, a new face. Yeah, you are entering into a new face. You are entering into a new face, a new season. You are entering into an enter into a new face. Enter into a new season. May the angels of God right now catapult you into a new face. The angels of God catapult you into a new season. The angels of God they catapult you into your blessings. The angels of God catapult you right now into a new face of prosperity. I say a new face of prosperity. A new Amen. face of prosperity. Amen. A new face of prosperity. Amen. Lack is over. Amen. Lack is over. Amen. Receive a new face of prosperity. Receive Amen. It right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are praying. We are still praying. We are continuing praying. Hallelujah. Now we are going to receive that surplus of 12 baskets. That real, it happened, then it will happen now. Hallelujah. It happened, then it will happen now. Before we receive that grace that happened that day to them, five loaves of bread, two fishes, well, let's pray restoration, a prayer of restoration, then we'll, 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 we'll take that grace. Hallelujah. Psalm 51 verse 12. Fast. 
Hallelujah. Psalm 51, verse 12. Hallelujah. It says, Restore to me the joy of my salvation and uphold me in your willing spirit. It's very important that as the Lord restores you, as the Lord moves you from faces to faces, you will be in the willing spirit. You will be in the will of God. It is the will of God that sustains us from season to season. Hallelujah. I pray for you this day, this moment, that the Lord restore your joy of salvation and grant you that will and spirit to sustain you. You cannot want God's blessing and not be in his will. Hallelujah. You cannot want Amen. God's prosperity and not be in his will. You cannot want God's uh, surpluses of blessings and not be in his will. This is the problem the church is going to. We call Jesus, Jesus, and we don't know him. Therefore, nothing is happening. After some time, everybody can tell that, mm -mm, this is something is not right with this, this thing here. Nothing is happening. It's very important for you to know God and stay in his salvation. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, Lord. restore me to the joy of my salvation and baptize me with a willing spirit. Baptize me with a willing spirit to stay in you. Baptize me with a willing spirit to stay with you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the Lord uphold you in your prosperity. The Lord uphold you in your prosperity in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 7. It says, uh, Isaiah 61 verse 7. I receive the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness in surpluses. The oil of gladness. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. Instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so will inherit a double portion in your land. And everlasting joy will be your, will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. The name above every other name. Receive it wherever you are. That this new month, instead of shame, you will receive fame. You will receive gladness. Instead mm -hmm. of disgrace, you will receive grace in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. And you will receive double portion of the land where you are. Double portion of the blessings where you are. Double portion. You will have excess in whatever you have been believing God for. Everything you've done in the house of God, you've been doing for God. God is about to reward you now. Mm -hmm. I say God is about to reward you now. The old yeah. season is gone. God has cleared the house. Right now, there is a new grain. There is a new wine coming to you. Receive that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise Receive. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's Amen. go to Amos 9.14. Take this thing seriously. I'm not, it's the Holy Spirit that gives me the scriptures. Hallelujah. Amos 9. Amos 9.14 says, And I will bring my people Israel back from exile. When you are not walking in line with what God has said concerning you, when you look at yourself like Jabez, he looks like an un un honorable man, who was, but he was not living an honorable life. He was in exile, satanic exile. Hallelujah. When you are working hard and you are eating small, you are in financial exile. Hallelujah. When you have a man in the house, marriage, and you are not enjoying your marriage, you are in a marital exile. When you have business and the business is not doing well, you are in business exile. When you have ministry and the ministry, you are in exile. Hallelujah. Other ministries doing well? Yes. Yours is not doing well. You are in exile. Don't fool yourself. You have better address it. Hallelujah. Amen. But in this scripture, the Lord says he will bring his people back from exile. I don't know which exile you are in, but you know. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, according to Job 22, 28, it says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall come to pass. 
I decree by the decree of heaven, as my head is up in heaven and my knees on the ground, facing the Lord, worshiping him in the throne room of grace, see him sitting down and compass with archangels, with the Lamb of God, with seven horns and seven eyes, in the throne room of grace, with the four living creatures around him, 24 elders sitting on the 24 thrones, and the angelic who was saying, holy, holy are you, Lord. Today, every power of exile is broken. Every power of exile is broken. Every power of exile that you are living is broken. Any life of error that you are living in the name of Jesus, that power is broken. That power is broken. That power is broken. That power is broken. That power is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Living in exile is like you're living, you're not living your, your real life. Exile is taking few clothes and running off on plan and uh, run away. So you get there, you check, you don't have the, your regular pants. You have the other pants. Sometimes you have one shoe and no other shoe. Or you are wearing the same shoe when you have a lot of other shoes in your own home, living a life of error. That power comes to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, I connect Amen. to the grace upon my father, Apostle John C. Suleiman, that every life of error that you have lived, that you are living again, that the devil say, no, he will not let you go. This month of September, their end has come. Their end Amen. has come. Amen. Their end has come. Amen. Their end has come. Amen. That power Amen. is broken. That power is broken. That spirit is broken in the name of Jesus. And he Amen. asked the angels of heaven to hold you, to bear you in their hands and take, catapult you to safety. According to Psalm 91 verse 11, Bible says uh, he will give his angels charge to bear you in their hands uh, so that you don't dash your foot against a stone. In the name of Jesus, we charge the angels of heaven this day, this moment to lift you up from exile, to lift you up from the wilderness, uh, to lift you up uh, from wherever you are to where God wants you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that by the decree of heaven and in the name of Jesus, we call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we're going to take that blessing, that blessing in Matthew 14, verse 18 to 20. The five loaves of bread, praise the Lord, and two fishes fed the multitude and they had surplus. Please lift up your hands. Say, Jesus. 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 Son of David. I call on you this day. I call on you today. In my life and destiny. In my life and destiny. Restore me back to my original destiny. Restore me back to, my original, me back to my original destiny. And baptize me with the grace baptize of surplus. And baptize me with the I receive surplus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Surplus. Surplus. In any area of your life, receive surplus. 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 They said they had 12 surpluses of baskets. In the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive surpluses. Surplus, whatever you are believing. From now onwards, you will not move from paycheck to paycheck again. You will not borrow again. Your life is coming into divine alignment. God is rearranging 
God is restoring somebody. Somebody at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Your restoration is taking place in the mighty name of Jesus. This nine months in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Say, I receive surpluses in every area of my life. Surpluses in every area. You will not lack again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Put your hand over your head. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, nine is a numerical number. And the last number of the single digits amongst all numbers. From one, it stops at nine as a single digit, which means the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Any evil cycle that you have lived till now, in the name of Jesus, that evil cycle comes to an end. Amen. That evil cycle comes to an end. Amen. That evil cycle comes to an end. In the name of Jesus, every evil cycle, evil foundation, evil altars, evil life, evil destiny, whatever that is not of God, that you have lived till now, to this time, in the mighty name of Jesus, that cycle comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I fed that decree by the decree of heaven that henceforth in the name of Jesus, as the Lord has cleared your life, a new cycle, a new life begins for you. A new cycle, a new opportunity. Receive Amen. new opportunities. Amen. New opportunities in surpluses. Opportunities in surpluses. Promotions in surpluses. Everything you wish for yourself, according to the will of God, receive them right now. Receive them right now. Receive them right now. New opportunities in this month of November, uh, September in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the word of God. Bible says that when they gave the five loaves of bread and the two fishes to Jesus, it changed to a lot, multitude uncountable. In the name of Jesus, as your hands are placed on your head, just as you have subjected yourself to the lordship of Jesus, just as you have given yourself to Jesus, everything concerning you will multiply. Mm -hmm. I say everything concerning you receive speedy blessings. Amen. I say speedy blessings. Amen. Speedy blessings. Amen. Your academics receives blessing. Amen. Your family receives blessings. Amen. Your relationships blessings. Amen. Your marriage blessings. Amen. Your business blessings. Amen. Your ministry blessings. Amen. Your project blessings okay. as you have given yourself to the lordship of Jesus, your life will not be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says that it changed your life this day and prophesy in the name of Jesus. Connecting to the grace upon Apostle Johnson Suleiman and Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. These three graces and the grace upon my life that after now, the prosperity, uncountable prosperity, prosperity that you cannot say, oh, after this is finished, like the woman with the oil. She said, oh, after this, we don't have anything. No, that would not be your portion. Hallelujah. You will pay Amen. all your bills. You will do everything Amen. and still have surpluses. You will help those that you want to help and still have surpluses. Because of poverty, some people don't even want to go to church because of uh, tight. Praise the Lord. It's not that they don't love Jesus. So they love Jesus. They don't want the shame of tight. It will not be your portion again. Mm -hmm. It will not be your portion again. It will not be your portion again in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. 
May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the abundant grace of God be your portion this month of September. Every day of September and beyond. Every minute of September, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week of this month, the grace to multiply fall upon you. The mm -hmm. grace of prosperity and blessings of God be your portion. In mm -hmm. Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's please take our communion. Get yourself ready. Hallelujah. Water, crackers, juice, crackers. Hallelujah. No alcohol, please. Hallelujah. Somebody said the Roman Catholic priests, they drink wine and there's some level of alcohol. We don't know the truth. Your truth is the one you know. So you do it right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift it up, Father. We lift up our drinks and we turn it, the drink, into the blood of Jesus. Let the drinks lose its natural potency of whatever nutrients is made up of. Even the water, let it lose its natural potency of hydrogen and oxygen. And let it all turn into the blood of Jesus. Bible says, and Jesus picked up wine and said, this is my blood. The same way we pick up juice, water, wine, and we say, this is the blood of Jesus. We also ask that you let the cookies, the crackers, the bread that we are holding on to lose its natural elements. And we turn it into the body of Jesus. Bible says Jesus took ordinary bread like the one we have and said, this is my body. Therefore, Lord, any element of nature in the form of wine, which is the blood of Jesus, in the form of bread, which is the body of Jesus, that we, your children, are about to take now, we ask that in the realms of the spirit, Turn it into the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus and let whatever we use it for come to pass in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Now lift it up. Bible says, whilst they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body. Beloved, take your bread and eat it. Then he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Please drink your wine and get rid everything, anything you have there. Beloved, as you have taken this communion, the Bible says, Jesus said, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Today, every sin you have committed has been forgiven. Hallelujah. Up until right now, anything you've done, did it well, didn't do it well, even you're struggling with yourself in the spirit, all of it, the Lord has forgiven you. 
is a new day, a new dawn, a new chapter. Most importantly, it's a new month. And it's the first Sunday and it's the first of September. I pray for all of us, including myself, that as we have taken this communion, every sin, hindering sin, sins of omission or commission that we know or we don't know about, the Lord grant us mercy. The Lord grant your household mercy, your family mercy, that day by this communion, we have been forgiven and made whole again in the name of Jesus. Amen. We also pray that, Lord, by this blood, as we drink this thing, let this blood dilute any other thing in our blood that is not of you. Let this, the blood of Jesus, flush it out. Let it flush them out. Anything that we ate by mistake, don't eat by mistake. Anything in the blood of our ancestors, the blood of our parents, that, that lineage that is in us by this communion in the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus flush them out. Make us your own. Make mm -hmm. us a new self, a new image by your blood in the name of Jesus. By the bread of Jesus, the body of Jesus, we ask anything in our body, our organs, our brains, the spine, the tender bones, uh, Lord God of heaven, by the bread that is not functioning well, let everything begin to function. Give us a clean bill of health in the mighty name of Jesus. Make us strong. Let people see us and say, ah. You are shining. Let even the devil go mad and say, ah, I have thrown this arrow every time, but this person is looking better and better. What are they doing? It's just by your grace. Let your grace speak for us. Let your grace go before us this month of September. Let your will be done in our lives and let your name be glorified as we eat this communion in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You can go on your knees and say something small, personal to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Go on your knees. Amen. And now in the name of Jesus, I seal every prayer that we pray today. A prayer of divine prosperity and surpluses, a season of surplus prosperity. We seal the season with the blood of Jesus that no one or destiny thieves, destiny destroyers, contenders, secret contenders that will hear this message and say, oh, is that what the Lord said? Let me, Lord, anyone that will try, let them fall and die. Let them fall and die. We decree this grace over us. We declare it and we permanent it with the blood of Jesus that what you have said is what will come to pass in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. My head is a good head, my life is a good life. Angels shall fight for me, greatness is my portion, lifting on my side, promotion on my side, favor on my side, surpluses on my side, blessings on my side, in the name of Jesus, greatness, yeah, victory on our side, this night of September, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, God bless you. You are 
blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Amen. Amen.